I'm just working on a uh, set of brake calipers for my uh, uh, motorhome here. Uh, this is for a 1989 Vanguard um, 31 foot RV. It's on a P Chevrolet P30 chassis. Um, and these are the brake calipers off, um, off the front uh, of the RV. Now these, both these brake calipers were seized when, um, when I took them off the vehicle and uh, my initial reaction was of course to go try and find a replacement brake caliper. <clears throat> now when I went and tried to do, do that, of course it's pretty hard these days to find some of these parts for these older vehicles even though that this P30 ch chassis seems to be, you know, was the jelly bean kind of um, truck body that or chassis that you know you you get everything from RVs to uh, step vans to you know ice cream trucks to <clears throat> chip wagons uh, um, UPS trucks uh, just uh, you know a whole slew of uh, uh, utility vehicles and it was a really useful chassis because um, you could build anything off of it um, this one being a motorhome I'm trying to get this thing on the road and um, anyhow, long story short, these are fairly expensive and hard to find, so I would like to repair them. Uh, I was able to uh, use compressed air to blow these pistons out, and upon getting them out, sort of clean them up, and uh, the good news is that uh, these are going to be um, able to be reused and cleaned up and reused. I see that piston's in pretty good shape. The bore uh, is in pretty good shape. There's some rust down on inside here that I will uh, I will deal with. Um, that may or may not be an issue. We'll have to see. Um, the other piston here does have some rust on the plating, which I will uh, deal with that also. I'll just take a bit of a a wire brush to that um, or a drill a wire brush on a drill and try and get that off if there if the pitting is too too much then uh, this will not be able to go back together because these will the fluid will leak past but uh, I think I should be able to clean that up no problem there it just it's just kind of surface rust I don't think that's any serious pitting or anything in there the rest of the piston seems to be in good shape um, so I'm going to try and just clean them up <clears throat> and get them back in there. Um, and I've removed the square cut seals as well as the dust, uh, dust cover or this dust boot, whatever you want to call it. And these are really easy to take out and put in. They just use a little, little pick like so. No, no, clean these up and these will go back in too. Uh, I guess the purpose for this video is that uh, I've been running into this problem with my vehicles quite a lot lately. And, uh, you know, I just never could understand why brake caliper sees in the first place. Um, but now that I've got, this is my first time taking apart brake calipers. Now that I've got these apart, I think I get it now. So what I'm seeing is <clears throat> the piston and the bore. And what I was doing is I was just experimenting with the way in which this actually fits into the bore. So if I try and drop that in there, it kind of stops there. And actually, see, it's stuck right now, and I, I can't get it out. So it's kind of it's kind of skewed in there a little bit. So you know now see now I'm gonna have a you know it's now it's really in there. Shouldn't be using the hammer, but uh, now it's really crooked. Nah, there she goes. <clears throat> but I mean I think that's a good example. And you can kind of, you kind of see here where it got hooked up. There's a little bit of a brown mark there. This, the, the, I understand this now. I mean, the tolerances here are extremely tight. And uh, let's see if I can get one of these brake pistons actually slide in to um, 
slide into one of these bores. There you go. Straight in. Um, now, if I if I twist that, skew that in any way, it's going to get stuck. But just feeling the way that is, the tolerance between the piston and the bore is it's virtually nothing. And when you put the square cut seal in there, it's an extremely tight, tight fit. And, um, you know, looking, I can definitely see how this can get jammed now. Just not, not seeing how, how it, if it, um, you know, gets skewed in any way, it just locks itself there and jams itself against the bore. Um, it has to be moving perfectly straight up and down. Not only that, the, the tolerances here are so tight that if you do get any water in your brake fluid, like as you can see here from all this brown, nasty brake fluid that looks like that, um, you're going to get rust. Um, these are going to rust and you can only imagine in a part like this that's so tight, tight fitting, that if you leave your vehicle, you know, I don't know, sitting over the winter time without using it, and there happens to be some moisture in your brake fluid and it starts to rust in here, these parts are gonna fuse together and um, they're not gonna move. Um, so I get it now. I, I, I see how this, um, you know, these are, are very simple very simple device. I mean, it's really, it's all it is. I mean, there's a inlet here and it basically just goes into a, this big reservoir and that's it. It's nothing to it, but uh, the, the tolerances here are, are very tight. And, and um, anyways, if you're like me and you're confused as to how these things get stuck in the first place, um, there, there's your answer. I mean, um, it's it's rust, uh, and it's not just rust in any kind of situation. Like, I've got to be careful here because I've got this stuck a few times even before I started filming this. You know, if you if you skew that at all, it's really hard to get that out. So, anyways. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and educational, and by all means, um, I don't consider myself an expert uh, in auto mechanics, but if there's anybody watching this video that has anything to add to, um, to the reasons as to why these brake calipers get stuck, other than the fact that you've got very tight tolerances in here, you know, um, moisture accumulating in the brake fluid, rust, um, you know, another thing I've heard is happening is that this square cut seal can sometimes get bunched up and, you know, turned over and that can, you know, if this is damaged, then that can uh, jam the, jam the piston as well. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I think why I, I didn't really understand why, how they were freezing is because my, my, my thinking was that this piston was was resting against this seal and not against the edge of the the bore but now that i see how 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 much contact there is between the bore and the and the piston i can definitely see how that um, i mean it was really just like um very similar to the clearance between a piston in an engine and the bore um in, in a uh, in an engine block so um, anyways, I just thought that was an interesting video and uh, for sure eye-opening for me. And uh, I hope that was uh, fun for you guys. And uh, you Otto Scotty signing out. We'll see you next time.